Hi all, super quick video today on two new useful functions brought in a few days ago on the latest update of the DJI Fly app for both the Mini 4 Pro and also the Air 3S. Now it affects uh, those of you using the RC or the RC2 remote, but it also affects the phone version of the Fly app as well. So even if you usually fly with the RC or the RC2 remote, you might want it to be installing an update this uh, on your phone after watching this video. But either way, look, the update brings in a uh, new feature for wirelessly transferring pictures and videos from the Air 3S, even when powered off. It also brings in uh, two new changes to Active Track on the Mini 4 Pro, changing how it's initiated, and also bringing in a new auto dynamic mode, uh, just like the Air 3S introduced the other week. So, if you have either a Mini 4 Pro and slash or an Air 3S, watch on. Um, firstly, I suppose, quick reminder on how to get the latest firmware. Power up the drone and the remote. Drag down from the top of the remote screen to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. If there isn't a pop-up offered once the app is opened, just go into the camera view, check the three dots on the top right, go across to the About tab and look down on the right for the blue text saying Check for Updates. Tap it and it should offer you the update if you're not already up to date. Uh, let it download and install itself, and then you can double check afterwards by doing the same process to make sure that you're fully up to date. You are looking for app version 1.15.0 for what I'm talking about today. But obviously you wanna make sure that your Air 3S or your Mini 4 Pro's firmware itself is also up to date. Uh, first off, let's take a look at the change to Active Track, as I think it is quite a significant change for the Mini 4 Pro. First off, you're going to see a new subject tracking icon over the left of the screen. It's a single dot with a little line above and below it, and this switches the auto subject tracking on and off. And when it's on, anything that looks like a possible target for active track will be offered to you as a small green plus sign. Now, this used to be a setting hidden away in the main control settings, and in truth, I think it's great they've actually moved it to the main screen because this feature is either really, really useful when you're walking along by yourself, or it is really annoying when you're flying around an area where lots of possible subjects, usually people or cars, are present and you get a whole screen full of little green uh, crosses everywhere. So being able to toggle this on and off from the main screen I think is a really, really good move. But that's not all. Those of you who watched my full review on the new Air 3S last week will have seen me having great fun with the new Auto Dynamic Active Track Mode, or as uh, DJI call it, the Fully Automated Aesthetic Active Track Function, which has to take first prize for most stupid name for a function going. But last year, DJI introduced a basic auto mode for the Air 3, uh, the Air 3 and cascaded it down to the Mini 4 Pro very soon afterwards. And that was where when you uh, selected Active Track and tapped Auto, it cycled through Helix and Orbit going around you, but that was it. It was good, but the new mode goes one better. So when you now select the subject, you get the prompt to press the C1 button on the back of the remote control, and that will initiate the new Auto Aesthetic mode for Active Track. So now you can put that remote down and the Fly app will react to your movement, where you're walking or moving to, and the surroundings, and it will give you a continually changing flight position all by itself. So really nice new feature, gives you a far more natural and dynamic uh, finish. Uh, obviously, remember, you want to be doing this in cine or normal mode. Uh, it is heavily reliant on obstacle avoidance, uh, not to hit anything around you. So do not be doing it in sport mode where the obstacle avoidance system switches off. But really, I do think it's pretty good going uh, to get the very latest version of Active Track seen first on the Air 3S just two weeks ago, already being cascaded down to the Mini 4 Pro. So quickly on to the next new feature of the Fly app for Air 3S owners. Now this is an update to let your phone grab pictures and videos straight from the Air 3S without cables and without even having to power the Air 3S on. And this is why even if you only use the RC2 remote with the built-in screen, as I said, you still probably want to install the Fly app on your phone as well. Quick transfer was always an option on the Fly app phone version, but this new update takes advantage of the low power mode of the Air 3S and will actually wake the Air 3S up remotely, even if it's safely packed away in its case. Now it's only gonna wake it up into a slightly different low power mode. It's not gonna initiate the gimbal, so it's not gonna do any damage to that. 
If you're on Android, uh, you're gonna have to try and download the latest version of the Fly app from dji.com slash downloads and install it manually because it is not on Google's Play uh, Store. But either way, once it's updated to the latest version, you can open the app up and it will automatically scan for any nearby devices. Now at the moment, only the Air 3S has got this low power mode where it will show up in that scan even if it's powered off. Uh, the Neo uh, re uh, released a couple of months ago, that also has got a low power mode but only for USB cable use. So when you plug the Neo into your computer, even without it being switched on, it will show up as a separate drive. But currently the Air 3S is the only model that supports the wireless remote wake up if you like. But as you can see here, when you select the quick transfer tile, if it hasn't already found the Air 3S, it'll search and then offer to wake it up. And the moment it does, you're going to see the battery lights light up on the Air 3S, indicating it's waking up even though it's switched off. And of course, once it's awake, you can then view and quickly transfer the pictures and videos just as if you've had the drone powered on. Even though it's off, you're still being able to transfer everything, which I do think is absolutely brilliant. Uh, remember, the Air 3S stays in low power mode for around 12 hours after powering down after an actual flight. But you can easily reactivate that low power mode by just a single quick press of the power button. Now, it did already let you connect to a computer by USB cable and transfer in low power mode, but this latest update now lets you transfer wirelessly direct to your phone. So, of course, far easier to upload those photos straight away to social media from your phone. So that's it, one update, but two great new features, one for the Mini 4 Pro and another really useful feature for the Air 3S. So I really do think it's always good when uh, new stuff is introduced and cascaded down to smaller existing models as well. So all in all, nice little update there. As ever, it helps, thumb me up to help the video along. And as ever, until next time, have fun, happy flying.